Well, as you've probably heard, the flu and COVID continue spreading around, more so right now after all the travel and get-togethers over the holidays. While hospitalization rates are about the same as they were this time last year, the CDC says it is keeping a very close eye on how the health care system is dealing with the increased strain. Jared Hill has the latest. New Year, same worries as COVID hospitalizations nationwide are at the highest level since last February. It's concerning in the sense that the, the volume of patients is higher. COVID hospitalizations at St. Joseph's Medical Center in Patterson, New Jersey, more than triple compared to a month ago. Across the country in Los Angeles, cases up by 25 percent. Nationwide, emergency room visits and deaths also on the rise from last week alone. They are sicker, especially patients that are the most vulnerable that have comorbid disease, things like cancer or respiratory disease. And it's not just COVID. Doctors are also seeing more cases of the flu and RSV. 31 states are reporting high or very high levels of various respiratory illnesses. The uptick leading hospitals in several states and Washington, D.C. to bring back masking requirements. It really helps to protect the vulnerable people that are sitting out there in the waiting room right now. The CDC says one contributing factor to the rise in illnesses is people haven't been keeping up with vaccinations. Fewer than 50 percent of adults are vaccinated for the flu, even fewer for COVID. <laughs> With cases of all three likely to have spread as people got together over the holidays, health officials say pay attention to symptoms like coughing, <laughs> fever, or fatigue. If you are getting sick, one of the best things you can do from there, in addition to taking care of yourself, is limit how many other people you expose. In other words, stay home uh -huh. if you can. Jerry. All right, well, the CDC says nationwide six children died from the flu complications just within the last week.